This morning we're going to do an introduction into just some martial ideas behind the Yin style Bagua Zhang uh, bear system. The bear posture is a little bit unusual. Um, Yin style Bagua Zhang has eight animals. It has a lion, it has snake, it has bear, and dragon, a phoenix, a rooster, <clears throat> unicorn and monkey and they all have their uh, own distinct features those are the representative postures um, based on the eight trigrams uh, but a lot of them like penetrating palm and dragon and all these they have a the um, arms are close together very directed the bear is a little bit different the arms are and the palms are completely uh, separated um, and so we're just going to explore some ideas we have the representative uh, postures there's four main practices in yin style bagua zhang uh, standing, uh, striking, turning, changing. So we have the, the standing posture here where we want to create elasticity in the body, uh, sink the weight, engage the ground, build all the qualities in our body. We have single actions for the uh, bear. This would be a very common single action using the, the posture. We have um, uh, walking the circle. In Yin style Bagua Zhang, we have a uh, smaller circle, walking the circle, and then you have uh, various changes or um, different series of movements, which what we would call uh, changing. And those are the basic um, practices to develop uh, the skills in any animal system. We also have very specific stepping. We step in a square, advancing steps, and then um, also back steps. Right, back steps. So this is the kind of the template of practice, and we're just going to just explore some ideas in developing these qualities and how they can be applied to martial arts. This isn't a self-defense class. We're not sport fighting, just exploring some ideas on how to relate these practices into a martial arts context. So with, with Dusty here, one of the um, ideas behind bear is it's not necessarily um, aggressive uh, like lion and a dragon or something like this it's actually uh, uh i'm actually facing away from him or dodging away or i'm at a little bit of a disadvantage um so come on over here so if you were to like reach for my head with that arm it's like i'm actually um go ahead do it like try to like i'm actually getting out of the way a little bit so we'll do it again so um this natural idea of dodging getting out of the way go ahead it's like i can actually um go right into the the bear posture from there incorporate the dodging away with creating uh, this shape. Um, I also get to dodge my body a little bit. So, so again, it's like, oh, I'm getting out of the way, but I'm also able to engage him uh, down here. Um, another way to think about this is um, if I want to engage him, instead of being like over or over the top, I'm actually gonna engage down low, right? And by getting down low, I bring his attention uh, down here. Uh, so by coming down, then this palm can also come up one thing that's a little bit unusual is that instead of being like right here, which, you know, would make good sense in martial arts, um, I don't want this arm slack either. So in this posture, we create these separating palms to have integrity and build the quality through the whole system to have strength. So the same idea if you reach up, it's like here, um, this, this palm actually gives this palm some strength so I can have some integrity. I'm connected into the ground. I can... I can exert force there while keeping my say, myself safe. So uh, Bear has these uh, palms uh, that uh, come around. And the palm is you know, arguably safer than the fist. You hit something hard with the fist, you could break some bones, but the palm is used here. Um, so take a little step closer. So if we were just doing like, um, you know, a main idea where I wanna come low and get his, um, uh, attention down low and then come around. Uh, this this palm strike to either the back of the neck around the um, the chin or whatever and even if I get the back of the head um, I'm nice and connected through my body and I can follow through and there'll be like minimal damage. If I came around with like a fist and accidentally you know hit his skull or whatever um, it might not be so fun. So we use the palm and I use my rotation to create a rotational quality. Um, this is relatively short short range. I'm not way out here. So, you know, coming into here, pressing down, 
coming into here, pressing down. This is all like pretty short range. I'm not like uh, way out here. Um, so another idea, if, if Dusty has his hands up a little bit, um, using this bear uh, shape, you know, um, you know, not necessarily great um, engaging from up top, but coming down here, getting his attention down. If you want to react to that, that's fine. Well, fine with me, <laughs> right? And here, come on up, and then I can just follow through with the bear um, motion here. This is a basic bear motion. So as we follow through, um, this can become a sweep. I'm stepping in behind, creating lots of these points of contact and just rotating the waist. Just an example of maybe using this bear shape and this bear movement. It's a nice little way of closing down space and getting into your, um, getting into your legs to dump them over. Another interesting uh, part of the bear is we do have practices where the uh, palm comes up behind the ear, which is, you know, pretty unusual. You wouldn't necessarily think so if you were, if I was like um, trying to incite a reaction to, uh, you know, take initiative. Um, you wouldn't necessarily think, like you might think of here or even top, but this coming over to the side and then coming into something else. Um, this coming from out of... The, behind the left ear is a little bit unusual and unexpected. So from the other side too, it's like coming in here is like, you wouldn't necessarily think about this coming up. Kind of like a little hidden palm coming out from behind your ear. The first palm that we do in, in the bear is, this, is kind of like the stomping idea. And it's almost like a, a tree. This is the way I think of it. It's like if there's a tree and a branch, um, you know, or a stick with a lever, um, you're, it's bent, and then I'm using this upright, coming back upright, to uh, create power here. And that's the dynamic I'm using. I'm connecting my, tor my arm into my torso and using my body method to create a specific vector of force. So if you come on out, and the same idea is so you're like reaching for my head or whatever, getting out of the way, but I also can use my stepping to kind of line up here and create contact, and then I can, I can create a stomp bit of a stomping force and I'm using my whole body um, I'm kind of loaded here and I just let that uh, unload and it's good to find a, a good surface to do that too it's a little bit harder if I'm off center but the same idea is if you know I come in here and I can set myself up I'm basically out of danger here and uh, I can have a pretty decent amount of force to put into my partner so in a little more of a martial context, if Dusty, Dusty have his hands up or whatever, um, you know, a lot of striking arts are like pretty high out, um, far out, but we can actually use these strikes kind of close in if we're in like a grappling situation or happen to be in tight. Um, these, these palms come up very, very fast. And especially if you're kind of controlling the guard to come in very uh, fast, uh, coming straight up and then out, you know, all these little kind of short palms going one way than the other. Um, you know, like here, or even getting out to the side here. And it's it, what happens is because it's an arcing strike, um, you know, you're defending here, but this is coming from all the way over here, right? Change the angle a little bit. So here, but then I can actually get to the back of his head pretty easily uh, from here. I can also use the bear, that bear shape to come in and attack down low afterwards. But the, the main idea is that these, these strikes are actually um, quite short and come very fast. And because it's connected to my waist, I don't need to like, you know, wind up. It's just right here. You know, I could release from the ground because we develop the elasticity of our waist and being able to generate power with our, with our elasticity of our body and then creating shapes to make a strong impact and connect into our body. One of the main ideas with bear is also uh, bashin or turning the back. And because the bear by its nature isn't necessarily taking the initiative, it's uh, operating from a disadvantage, it does have this turning the back. And this can show up a couple uh, different ways. Uh, one is if, if you have your hands up, um, if I am uh, committing to this, um, I can also follow, can also follow through and, and uh, use my momentum to turn my back. Also going from high to low, you know, going from high boom, to low, you know, to high again, uh, to coming around. The other idea is I'm basically 
in a sense being dominated um so if you have both hands and you're like controlling the center right and i can't you know in chinese martial arts they often talk about dominating the center if i don't have the center what i can do come forward a little bit is I can um, confirm this pressure and then allow it to continue and use that back to uh, to roll my body like you know kind of the bear rolling its body on the uh, on the tree. It's that similar idea. Um, Dusty is really dominating the center, and I go I go up, but I can also go down here. You know, coming in the back, just as a martial idea. But the main idea is also allowing him to stick. So that way I'm not going against the force. I'm not trying to dominate where I'm be clearly has a disadvantage and just using my, my back and my body to find a better spot. So just some ideas this morning on using the, the bear posture from Yin style Bagua Zhang. Hey there, I'm Garth Reynolds, founder of Bagua Internal Arts. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Hit subscribe. If you want to learn more, uh, just go ahead and visit my site, baguainternalarts.com. And I'm just like to share my experience training Bagua Zhang and other internal arts. Um, thanks so much. Hope to see you soon.